up. It's lighted up week at Craft Around the Clock. So welcome to my Craft Around the Clock segment where I'm supposed to be looking over here because I have all the cameras going again today. But um, this week is Light It Up Week, and this is my Craft Around the Clock segment. If you're not a part of that group, pop over to the link at the top of the page and join there. I'm good, Miss Cindy Lou. We're just going to go ahead and get going straight away here because we have 45 minutes to get this hopefully completed. Not making any promises, but we're going to try. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a jar, but... Um, there's a few steps to this and hopefully this all works out. So um, we're just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to show you what I did to prep the jar. I do have one sort of started and ready to go. So we're going to just show you what I did to prep it. So first of all, I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to paint here on the front of my jar and then we're going to put some uh, diamond dust and some other stuff here on the back side. So that we can light this up and we can see through it and have a little sparkle to it so that's the plan that's the hopefully what's going to go down here today we'll see all right so i just want to tape off i'm just going to put that there for a second so it doesn't roll away on me. so i'm just going to take my painter's tape hi sharon and i'm going to just tape off kind of where I want my painted design to be because I need to paint a little background there. Well, I hope you're excited, Cindy. <laughs> I'm always nervous. I'm nervous to see what happens. Kind of a crapshoot with me on a good day because I have these big ideas sometimes, but you always hope that they, you know, come to fruition. You just never know. You never know. It could be an epic fail. We don't know. Hi, Sue. And Marty's in the house from the Adirondacks. How are things in the Adirondacks? Things are strange here. I woke up this morning and I'm telling you, the barometric pressure must have changed because my head is pounding right now. So, I'm kind of thankful just to be here because I'm not feeling the greatest, but I made it. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my little chalk paint here and my little pouncer that I got from the box store. And I'm just going to pounce on. And I should have mixed my paint first, but I didn't. But this is just my demo to show you how I prepped it. Kind of make sure your tape's down there. And I'm just going to paint that area that... I'm just going to pounce that on in the area that um, I want my design. You're sin engineering. <laughs> no, and that's just it. Like, for sure, you know, we have to come up with these things and, you know, you try to be creative and <laughs> all the things and sometimes they don't work out. And that's okay, too, because you can kind of, you know, Streamline them as you go. If they don't work out, you just try something else. Hi, Mary. Thanks for joining. You're new to the group. All right. So I'm just going to prep it like that. I'm just going to give it a quick dry. Can you guys hear me okay? I got the mic happening today, so hopefully the sound is better. I'm just going to give this a little dry so we can get a second coat on here. Well, my Stuff doesn't blow away on my table. Oh, so it's not just me then with the hurdy head. Okay, I don't feel alone. Hello, Holly. So we're just drying this first coat, and I'm just kind of trying to expedite this prep so we can get down to the nitty gritty of painting our design on here. And that should be good. Let's get another coat on there. This paint right here is chalk paint. It's, um, and I like to use chalk paint for basing on glass and the slippery surfaces because they kind of stick better. And this one is a country chic paint. Um, and I think it's vanilla frosting is called. And it just puts a good 
kind of tooth down there so you have something to paint on. And then for my design, I just use my regular old craft paints, you know, regular old craft paints. My Deco Art Americana. So there is basically we have that kind of base. And I'm just going to dry this quick because I need to put my sparkly stuff on here now. Thanks, Susan. You can hear me fine. That's good. Hopefully over this squawky blow dryer. But I have to tell you, I'm so excited. I ordered one of those quiet running ones off Amazon a couple days ago, and I'm like chomping at the bit for it to get here because, I mean, who doesn't get excited about a quiet running heat, heat gun? Me. I'm excited about it anyway. <laughs> so in a few days, you won't have to hear the roar of this anymore. Thank you, Sonia. All right, so hopefully that's... Nope, it's not. <laughs> See, I just pulled one of those epic event moments. No, it's not dry. It's not dry, friends. <laughs> oh, you get it all with me. You get it all. And I tell you, I don't even, I'm not even going to get rattled about it today because it's, my head is pounding and I'm just going with it. All right. So a bit more noise. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So this is not, you know, like I would probably put another coat on it, but for just demo purposes, I think you kind of get the idea. And then I'm just going to take that tape off of there. So now we have our little area and then we have all this back part back here that I'm going to put some sparkly stuff on. The dryer is called, oh shoot, I think it says heat it on the side of it. So I, I'm hoping, I think that's the one that people use for embossing. It's kind of like an embossing um, heat gun. Yes, the Ranger heat it tool. Yes, that's the one, Deanna. Thanks for your help. All right, so what I'm putting on the back of this, um, and I'm going to show you on the one that I will be painting here in a second. Now, if you guys can see that, it's kind of, it's, kind of got a little bit of texture to it and it's got some diamond dust in there. Now I can't sh tell if you can see the sparkle in it. Oh, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit. You can see the sparkle in there. So this is what we're going for. So there's my painted spot on the front where we're going to be painting. And then on the back here, um, we're going to put all this kind of stuff. Now what that is, is not just diamond dust. It's a little bit of Epsom salts. So about a cup of Epsom salts and then your diamond dust. And I put about two tablespoons, kind of like two heaping tablespoons of diamond dust. And I put it in this little container. And I don't know if you can see up in there. And then once I got it in this little jar, I just shook it. I just shook it so that all the diamond dust would kind of mix in there. And so the next thing we're going to do is grab our glue, our little Mod Podge glue. Now you could use any glue. This one just dries quick, so what the heck, we're gonna use that one. And now you kind of have to, with this stuff, um, with putting the glue on and, and adding this stuff, you kind of have to put your glue on the whole spot you want to, because if you do half and then you try and do the other half, it kind of leaves lines in your, and it happened on that one. So I'm just kind of forewarning you um, that we're going to try and do this all in one foul swoop. So I'm just, I didn't even see Miss Tracy. Did, did she come on and say hello? I'm not sure if she did. If she did, I missed her. I missed her. Um, so hopefully we're shared over in the craft around the clock group. So I'm just putting a, you know, a good kind of smoothing it out as best I can. 
and I'm going right over that name on the jar there. And now you might think this is too soon, but I know everybody's painting fall, but today I'm painting snowmen. Sorry, I'm doing it. Um, I might be pushing it a bit, but I just thought that with the sparkly stuff, it just it commanded a snowman and I thought, you know what, I'm doing it. I don't, I don't care. I'm painting snowmen today. So you can be ready with a little snowman design. Um, thank you, Cheryl, for letting me know. Um, so I'm just putting that on there. So I'm kind of going over just sort of the edge of my painted area. And I'm just kind of wiggling that a little bit because I kind of want it just to overlap that just a smidge. And also, now I'm going to grab a smaller brush, and I kind of want to, just down here on the bottom edge of my, just around that painted area. So just a little, maybe a quarter of an inch. And then we're going to go to town and we're going to put all that stuff on here, all that sparkly stuff on here. So I'm just doing the same kind of at the top ridge there. Just about a quarter of an inch. So now we have all of our glue on. Ooh, I got real wiggly on that one. I better smooth that back out. So here comes the, and this is a little bit messy. I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, it's a bit messy. So I'm just going to get my plate here. And this is like where you need that third arm. So I should have left this. Now I'm going to have to set it down. I can't get it open otherwise. All right, so we have all of our area that we want covered. So you're just going to start sprinkling that on there. And make sure you do it over a plate or something because it is a little, and you want to be able to catch all that stuff and put it back into your jar too. So we're just going to shake it off a bit as we go. And it's kind of cool because I got the scented um, Epsom salts, their citrusy smell. So it smells good too. I'll just put that little bit. Let me just get this turned around here. So when you shake it off, you can kind of see if it's clung to where you need it to. And then you can just put a little more on if you need to. I'm just going to do that bottom edge. Hopefully it's still sticky enough. I need a little bit more there, I think. I'm going to try and add a little more glue there. Because in my talkiness, I took too long and it dried. So we're just going to add a little bit more there. I know I said to do it, try and do it all in one. But I didn't do that. I'm just going to kind of poke that bottom part right in there. See if I can get that to stick. All right. So there you can kind of see. And I'm just going to try and get the excess off of here. Now I didn't seal it with anything because I didn't want my diamond dust to... Yes, I can, Marty. That's true. Um, I, I didn't want to um, tone down my diamond dust, but if you do have to seal it with a spray sealer, um, spray it with your spray sealer and then sprinkle a bit more diamond dust on over top of the spray sealer just to, so you get that sparkle on there. You probably could, Cindy, except that I don't know that I'd want to get it too wet because it it might start clumping up on you. Like if you, you know what I mean? I don't know. All right, so there's basically our jar prepped. And you know, like, I'll just show you quickly. I wanna get rid of these, this sparkly stuff. So I just put it back in my jar here in case I wanna use it again. Get that out of the way before I, make a complete mess all over the place. All right, so I'm just gonna get rid of this extra. 
So if I'm missing any comments, it's, I'm sorry, I will go back and I will look and reply. But um, I just kind of want to keep going because we got some stuff to do. So, um, hello, Cheryl. Um, so anyways, I'm, that's basically what you're going to do for your prep. Now with um, this one that I'm going to be painting my snowman on, I did go ahead and paint the, the little rim. Um, I, didn't need, I didn't need that center part. I did paint the rim red. You could paint it any color you want. And I did put two coats of craft paint on there and then I sealed it because painting on metal, you know, it won't stay on there unless you seal it. So I did do that already. And you could, you know, go ahead and paint that any color. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm either going to put a tea light inside of here or I have these little candles here. I'm going to have to get some sticky stuff to put on the bottom to hold it. So I'm just going to use some tape for the right now. And I just want to show you kind of what it's going to look like. Maybe. Maybe the tape doesn't want to work. Okay. And then these little things, these little candles I got on Amazon, they're the coolest things. They come with a remote. Now, can you see that? Oh, see, my, my candle's falling over, but if it's working right but then it has this little flicker feature isn't that like the coolest thing can you guys see that okay or it has a slow flicker or a fast flicker oh they're so cool anyways so i'm gonna put one of those inside i'll just turn that off but it's kind of nice these have a timer with them as well so amazon pack of 10 best little things ever so that's what we're where we're going with our lighted up. Also, you could um, I have this little thing from the dollar store, these little candle holder things, and it kind of fits perfectly right on the top with a little tea light as well. So you could put your um, little tea light in the center or inside. I have one here. So you could put your little tea light inside. I'm just showing you this all quickly and then I'm going to get to painting. I promise. And then your, your, um, so there you have your little tea light kind of glowing inside. And then there's a candle here. You could put one of those little tea light uh, battery operated in the top here too. Or if you like actual candles, you could put one of these little tea light candles in the top. So that's my plan. So now you get, we get to paint the design. So I'm going to just take my little tea light out of here. And we're going to get to painting our snowman. All right. So I'm going to pop down here so you can see me and my project. So I sort of started base coating my um, snowman a little bit just to save a little bit of time. So hopefully you guys can see that. All right. So let's get painting this fella. So I put a base coat of white on my snowman parts and then I'm just going to I'm gonna I'm gonna just shade him out a little bit and I haven't decided I think I'm gonna use some burnt umber we're gonna make it a little more rusticy of a snowman but you could use blue light blue um, to shade his body if you wanted to but I think I'm gonna use some burnt umber today just gotta keep a watch on my time here so I'm just going to shade under his little hat. And I haven't pre-painted this snowman, so give me a little grace <laughs> because I'm winging it right now. We're just going to see how he turns out. I didn't do a, a demo painting of it, so you're seeing it in the reel. We're just going to see where it goes in the time we have. So I'm just going to kind of shade between the sections of his body. Now those candles that I got from Amazon, those little timer candles, they weren't expensive either. They're Canadian, I think they were $21.99 Canadian. I don't know what they, I don't know what um, they would be U.S. I didn't check. 
but you get 10 of them and they're just these short uh, candles like and they're what they're used for they they come with little clips that you can clip on your christmas tree as well but almost likely use them in different places well you guys have so much faith in me thank you We're just going to maybe put some down here at the bottom, at the base of his his body. I'm sorry if I'm turning. I just um, don't mean to get you out of the loop here. Let's put some of that down there. I'm going to keep it all in the shot for you so you can see. I'm just going to mess him up, dirty him up a little bit. All right. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to base out his hat a little bit. Use a little bit of fawn color. Yeah, they're really great. Um, is it Dini or Denny? I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name proper, properly. I'm hoping I'm not butchering it. Um, but yeah, they are. I was pleasantly surprised when I when I got them and I most likely because I like them so much I'll most likely buy another pack as well because they'd be great for so many different crafts and I loved that they had the timer they'll stay on for six hours I think and then sh automatically shut off which is kind of nice let me see I'm, I'm really hesitant to lay this down because all my sparkles are they're not completely dry yet, so um, they're coming off all over the place. Because I was rushing the process. And I think I'm going to make his hat red too, just to try and, try and tie in with... Um, the remote will um, turn all of them off and on as long as like if it's if one of them is across the room you still have to kind of get closer to it to shut it off they don't just all add them automatically shut off there is like a distance um but they will shut them off but i think there's a limit to how far away you can be with the remote to to do that i didn't really test them out that intently <laughs> but i think that's kind of the way they work Hey, for $21.99, I thought it was a darn good deal. And they are they run on AA batteries, which, I mean, are so easy to get. They're not those little tiny flat batteries. So I'm going to bring his hat kind of down here, right on his body. And like I said, I am winging this, ladies, winging it. I'm not sure where it's going but we're just doing it I have to kind of keep an eye on the time because I think I have till 245 so as far as we can get until 245 we'll be golden all right so I'm just going to grab a little bit more of this fawn color to fill that in I'll let that hat dry a bit and we'll move on to another part of him now I kind of wanted the sky to be I don't know a little bit of light blue in there so I think I'm going to kind of work on the background a little bit because I want to give it a little bit of color back there I'm just going to use a bit of this really light blue chiffon I'm just going to bring some of that in around here and some of my sparkles kind of got over on there I'm just painting right on over them the texture will be fine so I'm going to go down to about we'll see about there you want to have them on a bed of snow you know so you can see what I'm doing here
All right, that's kind of working for me. I'm just going to have to trust the process and hope that, you know, by the time we get to the end, that he looks pretty cute. And I went to about here, so I'll kind of draw a little paint line there and stop down there at that. So excuse all my sparkles and everything, my stuff that I'm... In hindsight, I probably shouldn't have put the sparkles on until after I finished my design. But, you know, like that's food for thought for you guys if you decide to paint one of these paint your design first and add your sparkles last and then they'll have time to dry and not shake off all over the place when you're trying to paint it we live and learn right all righty we got that in place. Um, I think I'm just going to leave the snow at the bottom for a second. I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of red on my hat. This hat just got bigger. <laughs> it's okay, though. It's okay. We're not going to sweat it. Again, there was no plan with this guy, so it's all good. Uh, this is a jar, Patricia. It's a jar. All right, so I think I'll go ahead and start working on his little nose. We'll start. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this first. I'm going to put a tree over here beside him. Just for the heck of it, we're going to put a little. I'm going to put a little tree trunk over here. Let that dry for a second. And having said that, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of bring in, because I put the tree over there, I need a little bit of white in here before I go any further with my tree. So I'll just kind of dab that on in there. So it's there. We might as well come over here and do the same thing. All right, that makes me happy. All right, now I can work on his nose. So I'll grab some burnt orange. How do I switch paints without mixing it in the red? Mm, not sure what you mean. If you can be a little more specific, I will answer that question. All right, so we're going to grab here and we're going to just gonna make a little carrot nose. A little too much water in my brush there. Oh, thank you, Mickey. So let's just kind of give him a little carrot nose there. And my time I got at 16 minutes we will let that dry and I'm just going to grab a little black and we're going to put his little face details on there and you can get as detailed as you want with um, his face I mean um, I'm going to grab a little a little tiny brush here Let's see if I can rub a little bit of pink on his cheek there. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that red. I'm just going to throw a little bit of pink on there. Sorry, I had to blow off the dust. All right, so I'm going to grab some black. And we'll give him a couple little eyes here. Make him see. And 
And I think we'll add some little stones for his mouth. What say you? That looks pretty good there. All right, he has a face now anyway. And then I'll add some little buttons here. It's not bad for winging it. I think he's working out okay. So far, so good. All right, so that's how he's looking so far. Yeah, I, I am actually am washing my, my brush before. I have my water over here to the right, and I'm actually rinsing it before I go to my next color. You just can't see it. It's off camera. All right, so where will we go next? Let's go back over to our little tree over here. And I'm going to grab a couple different greens. I'll grab some Hauser Medium and I'll grab some Plantation Pine. Maybe I'll grab a lighter one too. Let's get our three greens going here. A light, a dark, and a medium. So that's kind of what I, well, let's just move that in there. So I kind of have those three greens right there. Let's see if I can leave that there. I'd rather you see what I'm doing over here. All right, so I'm going to just grab some of the medium color. And I think I'll just throw a few little, he's going to have sort of like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree over here. Charlie Brown tree. It's going to be a little spindly tree. Lovely nonetheless, I'm sure. All right, and then we'll grab some of the dark green, and you can mix in a little bit of that. I can get some water out of my brush. All right, and then I'll grab a little bit of that lighter green. I got some yellow green over here, so we'll mix some of that in there too. This is a little contrast color. That was a bit much, but we're moving on. All right, so I'll grab a little bit of white and I'll throw some more snow down here at the base. I'm going to throw a little bit of that burnt umber in there just so you can kind of see where I'm at. There we go. We have dirty snow. Just take some and put it at the top of that snow line as well. Maybe we'll come over here and do the same thing over here while we're here. Just so we can kind of see where we're at with the snow. Okay. I think he's looking pretty good. And now for the top here, I'm going to put a little star on there. I'm going to use a little marigold. A little bit of yellow. We'll, we'll draw a star on the top of our tree here.
All right, and then I'll just make my tree top a little longer to meet my star, like so. So there's our our little tree so far. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna grab our red again. How are we for time? We got a few more minutes. Throw some more red in here, and we'll give this guy some arms. Do a little more shading on him. And I think we should give him a little scarf too. And I don't know, what do you think we should do for a scarf color? Let's do red with, um, let's just do this. We're just going to go in here with some red. Maybe we'll put some stripes on his scarf. We'll just get that red in there. Sometimes it's fun just to paint like this with no, no idea where you're going with it and just do it. It's kind of fun. And I think I'll bring two, a couple little strands of his scarf down here. Silly there. We'll just fix that up. All right. I'll grab some burnt umber again. And I just want to kind of feed around those a little bit. They're still a bit wet, so I'm chancing that I don't get mixed in there. See, which I did. We'll get rid of that. And I think I want to put a little, a little circular shade underneath his buttons here. Thank you for popping that up. I think that might be the ones, the candles there. The link just kind of popped up there for me. Thank you. I'm going to grab a little tangerine here. The lighter orange color. And I'm just going to kind of mix a little bit of that into his nose here. And as a little highlight, I'm not sure how well you guys can see this little guy. And I think I'm going to grab a little bit, you know what, I'm going to shade his hat first. I'm going to grab a little black. And we'll come along here, along the top of that brim. Everything's still a little wet. I should really be drying it in between here, but like I said, I'm just kind of pushing the envelope a little bit. And then I'll grab some white and I'm just going to dab onto his hat brim here to make some fuzzies. I do have a stencil brush that's probably small enough to do this, but I'm just going to dab with my round brush because it's close by.
Anyways, this is just merely for inspiration and the way that, you know, you kind of can see what you can do with it. You could, you know, paint other designs on here too. It doesn't necessarily have to be a snowman, but um, I'm self-taught Mandy. My favorite brushes are Dynasty Black Golds. They are the best in my opinion. That's what they look like can you guys see that dynasty they're oh my goodness getting the camera shoddy back yeah dynasty black golds those are my go-to's um where are we going here i'm going to put a little highlight on his hat a little, little bit of white maybe let's put a little highlight of white up here They are, they are great brushes, Renee, I agree. Um, there's many good ones out there, but I kind of stick with those ones for the most part. I do have cheaper brushes that I use, but they are my favorites. Uh, let's put a little bit of white on his nose, a little snow up there. You can put all kinds of little details on here. I'm just going to put a little highlight on his buttons. And I think this man needs to have his scarf finished. I'm just going to dry this quick for a sec. I got three minutes. Three minutes. All right. So we need some arms. So we're going to just shade his his uh, little scarf here quickly get some water off of that and uh, maybe add some stripes to it and then i'm gonna give him some stick arms and maybe we might be done by then we might be out of time by then all right two minutes pick up the pace girlfriend all right so i'm gonna grab some white and let's give his scarf let's give them some stripes there what say you All right, he's got stripes now. And I think I'm going to grab a little bit of red and a little bit of black, maybe. And I'm going to put some tassels down here off the end of his hat. A little knot there in black all right so can you guys see this so far what he's looking like and now we're going to give him some arms so i think what i'm going to do is let me see here i just want to fix up my star first how much time do i have oh i have a minute better give him some arms so i'm just going to grab some burnt umber and we're going to bring this arm around here our little stick and just put some of those kind of off there and i think i'm going to bring his arm over here around the tree i'm going to be holding this tree what the heck and when i look up i know that it's going to be time up so let's do that so his arms kind of around the tree so there, what do you think of that? That's kind of where we're at. So I'm just going to do a uh, full screen here. So there, that's kind of where we, what we got, if you can see. And my time is up. My time is up, ladies. So I hope you enjoyed. And don't forget, the little tea light goes inside. And I'll take a picture of this and show it to you when it's completely finished. Had fun with you guys. All right, we'll see you all soon. Bye now.